this next section shows you how to set your failsafe. What's most important is this failsafe PWM value down there in this box. Now you select what you want your craft to do on failsafe. I've set mine to always enable return to home landing. Now this value will get back to it later. You can also activate your battery safe, fail safe, but I've chosen not to do so in mine. I monitor my battery with time. Now, what is of most importance here is your radio 3 value. You'd notice that my radio pin, I'll just focus, it's completely down and the value is 104. 105, 104 roughly, and if I move the pin completely up, that's the other end, 1934. So down is 104, 1104, and up is 1935. I put it down again. Now, what I'll do now is I'll simulate a fail safe uh, situation where my radio signal is lost. I switch off my radio. Now, if you notice, the PWM value goes down to 1077. I switch the radio on again to demonstrate this. That's the 104, my throttle uh, lowest point. I switch off the radio, it goes down to 1077. So, what you do is whatever value you have there when you switch off your radio and simulate fail safe circumstances, you go down into this box and you enter a value that is about five units above that. So five plus uh, uh, 1077 is 1082 and that's what I set my uh, failsafe uh, activation value at. So this value should always be about five units less than this. If you do that exactly as described, then your failsafe is ready to go. The next option under the, the configuration is the Arducopter level uh, function and it's the uh, calibration of your accelerometer. Now with a tricopter, uh, I read on the wiki that you should always set it to X. If you're flying in the plus configuration, of course you choose that option, but I've set X on mine and then what you do is you click on the calibrate accelerometer and as soon as you do that you have to move your craft in the different direction it instructs you to. I really cannot do it while uh, holding the camera with one hand so um, you'd have to do that on on your own but that's exactly how it works. Then the hardware options. In my case I only have the compass and GPS and that is enabled. Um, I've only uh, tried auto declination here but I'm going to try setting my declination manually. Um, different countries and different places have different declination values. The declination just means uh, the deviation of the uh, magnetic knot with the true knot. Now, um, since the Earth is inclined at a particular angle, it, it always varies from place to place. And the declination in my place is uh, about 2.5, so um, east, 2.5 east. So if you, go to, if you click this, you'd get to the website that can check your declination. And you can always enter the value manually there. East is a positive value and west is a negative value, like you see there, minus 2.3 uh, west. Is, is negative. If it was east, it would be plus. That's an example they've written there. So mine, which is 2.5 in my place, it'll be. Um, I just have to deactivate the auto declination, and then I put it there, and then I put 2.53. That's mine. And then, as soon as you do that, you can click on Live Calibration. And again, it'll ask you to turn your craft in different angles and uh, uh, 
it'll calibrate automatically. You can also just leave it on auto declination, then it'll calculate it for you after a few, the first few minutes of flight. If you have the sonar, I don't have that yet, but I'll be getting it, you can also uh, activate them there. The airspeed monitor and the optical flow monitor, you can enable them there. Well, that's that. If you want the battery monitor, it's actually self-explanatory. Um, when you want your uh, warning to appear on your screen if you have telemetry and when you want it to activate failsafe because of the battery. The camera gimbal, you set it there, I don't have a camera gimbal. That's the telemetry radio if you have it. Now, these standard parameters and uh, advanced parameters, I have not uh, uh, gone into them yet. I'm going to let them uh, stand at uh, the way they are. I'm going to leave them standard. Uh, so far, I uh, think the plane can fly well. Uh, I mean, the copter can fly well without uh, uh, mucking around with them. Only if I have a problem, then I'll come back there. That's the antenna tracker if you have it, and that's your mission planner. That's about that in uh, the configuration uh, setup, and um, I hope this video is of help. Subscribe, comment if you want to. Thanks for watching.